us? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. It's so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found That is so creepy, I forgot about How'd that. How get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. What White, stuff? This is Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Oh, no. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. That's scary. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends. Mysterious legend deaths? And, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. <gasps> well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. We saw his books, didn't we? Into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Damn, that sucks. Checkpoint reached. Oh, gosh. All right, guys. I'm not mentally prepared for this. Oh, right, there's like a random boat here. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. What? But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Huh. Sir, I hope you don't die. I feel like I'm gonna find him dead. Every time I meet someone, I always they always turn into one of those scary guys. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag. Comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Ow, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. Ow. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. So it seems like she knows what's going on. Huh? He's just checking out the trash can, making sure everything's good. Scary swing. Rose, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Okay, okay. We already know that something is off with Rose. Welcome to... to... 
Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh, oh yes, yes, please come in. He also doesn't notice. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh. uh yeah. Oh, what's. Oh. Barry! Oh, no. What? What? Well, we're all dead. CJ's guy. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. My barber's skin? I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. Oh, God. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Oh my. Back to work, boy. <sighs> oh, I got serious I shivers. Hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems Yeah, and how did he end up? It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Why is he trusting her? I don't think this guy's very smart. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. You don't want to murder her, please. To the oh dear diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Oh, what's she gonna Barry was out of it. get normal? He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> so right. called him fat. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. Oh, Barry, no. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Can we do this in the morning? Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, I'm in trouble. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare <laughs> is it just me well perhaps it is but i hope i can make the night a little bit easier to get through caller you're on kbf fm hey hi it's walt snyder 
What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah. yeah. What does that mean? I'm just well better something like that, Walt. Yeah. Well, you know, he's a you know, Daddy's my best friend and uh they let me um bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I, I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, Walt, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. What? Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather... It feels like the whole town knows that something is wrong, and they just... Just kind of ignore it or pretend that it doesn't happen oh oh no what is that are you human what's your gun here so I just have to go. Oh, you're gonna get it now. What? Oh, thank God. You know what? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Very few times. FBI, get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle all in the right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. What? What in the actual hell? What are, I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. Why was he shooting me? What did I do? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh God, how am I? The police is like so much better at running than me. I'm like an old man. Or at least I have the health of one. See, he's already tired. America. <laughs> Must be, right? Because these people are crazy. How am I supposed to? Oh! Wait, well, how am I supposed to get out of here? This is nuts, guys. I don't know how to escape the cops. I'm a very. law-abiding citizen. Where are the zombies when you need him? He's gone. Did they just give up just that that easy? <laughs> well, I can't see him anymore. ...that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. 
It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Rock stars? The rock stars? You mean like the two old guy? Is this like a... A hint that the two old guys that were brothers or something are somehow involved? Oh gosh, oh no. I don't have anything to defend myself with! Yeah, for real. <laughs> you know what? I can do whatever I want. I have a license to kill. <laughs> Is he going to blame me for this as well? I hope not. I hope that the cop that was in that car is okay, but I doubt it. Oh, I can see them. Search the area. Oh no. Oh no, the darkness is gonna kill them all. I don't understand. Oh, this God. was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. I like that cop. I doubt that she'll be nice to me when she finds me. Oh damn. Oh damn. somewhere to run. Oh. oh, no way. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? What the heck, man? What kind of weird ass powers do these birds have? I think the birds were going easy on me before because what the heck they just took down a helicopter by themselves just easy peasy well Thornton here. 
here. Uh, James, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they were... Hey, what, what are you... Come on! Sit down and give me that. James, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, Fed's gonna wanna interview Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot to do. <laughs> out. How interesting. Look and then toggle zoom. There's a jump scare in here, I'm gonna cry. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Is that the radio station? Wait. Is that the right where's the radio station? I'm guessing where the big antenna is, that's where the radio station is, right? All right, let's get out of here. I keep seeing shadows and it keeps freaking me the hell out. I thought we were done with the forest. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Coal mine? I think I'd rather stay in the forest. The uh, heck? The shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. This is where I was trying to go. And the thing. Oof. Come on. Generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Pick it. The generators here like ancient. Do these people just never have power outages? Oh, in my face, I just know it. I think I had too much coffee for this today. What I say? Oh my god. I just waited for it to reload. Okay. So far, no weapons, which is nice. Oh, damn. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Come in. Okay. 
far advanced in you. The other day, I think. Hope not, but I'm pretty sure. Right? Okay. I thought I could just... Oh my god, that takes forever. Stop dodging and run. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Well, I live near the trailer park, Pat, and there's a big ruckus going on over there. Well, that's just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on? Do you know? I you didn't see it? Such a small town. I shouldn't. Oh. So. Jesus. Did I kill him all? Okay. Touched by the dark presence. Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. Give me a second, guys. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. I have to keep going. System. It's like to heal, basically.
Oof. Oh, hey. I thought I just I run past him. Lend me a car to get to the coal mine. But a trailer park. Of course you're going to have trouble in a place like that. I mean, what do you expect? The sheriff should be helping us normal citizens instead of wasting resources on those people. <gasps> those people? What a total piece of garbage. See how scared he's going to be when... Oh god, he just... Second, guys. I'm really right. sorry. Looks like Mr. Wake is going to need a moment before we can talk. So, uh, let me give you a little background while he prepares himself. You've all heard the name, of course. Alan Wake is the author of a very successful series of Alex Casey crime novels. Alex Casey. He changed gears, though. He's now working on a horror story. Wait, what? How does he know? How does? Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. <gasps> No way to run now, Dan Brown. You've got to run. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here. Is he going to shoot him? your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. What's wrong with this asshole? Is he nuts? This guy's nuts, guys. This guy's insane. Oh my god. 